And Casey joins us now to go through his better bets at this Randwick meeting and also his quaddy. Good morning to you, Kev. Yeah, okay, Gareth. Yeah, wonderful meeting. Uh, looking forward to very elegant. The shorts is an awesome race. It's just magnificent. Uh, I'm going away from those races for uh, my two specials that I'm going to give you. Look, I like very elegant. She's just into the red now. And, um, it's sort of uh, uh, my rule not to, to offer up the, the odds on uh, chances. I think super effort. Race four, number nine, is just going rock solid uh, this preparation. Gets a lovely sit off the main pace. Hard to see him not being right there in the finish again. They're about $5. I think he's a, a solid bet at that price. Yes, there's some you know decent opposition there. A couple of horses have been lucky and uh, still on the up in their preparation. I think he's not past it, though. He's only fifth up. Uh, I think he'll hold up here and run really well. Hard to beat there. Race four, number nine. Into the last event, Exo Boom is my pick here. So race uh, 10, Exo Boom is number seven. He's first up 1,100. He's never raced at 1,100 in his career. But I think it could really suit here. Just where he's drawn to take a trail off the main speed here, there's enough speed in the race. And at $10, trials have been good. I think he's got the quality of this horse to return. A benchmark 88, albeit a strong one, and a carnival-type benchmark 88, and really launch at the line. So race 10, number seven, Exo Boom, around about $10. Quality wise for me, I'm putting my faith in very elegant. First uh, leg, seven only, seven, one out. Second leg, one, two, three, four, five, seven. What a race that is. Third leg, three, four, and 14. And wide in the last as well, three, four, five, seven, 10, 12, and 16. It's 126 options there. And if things fall into place, we could uh, we could get a seven, eight hundred dollar uh, div there for the quality, hopefully. That would be lovely. Good luck, Kev. Thank you. The Red Belly Play of the Day. Thanks to Red Belly Sports. Intelligent betting strategies for results like no other. See for yourself at redbellysports.com.au. It's time for the Play of the Day. Thanks to Red Belly Sports. It's a good morning to you, Ed Kennett. Morning to you, mate. I dare say you wouldn't have a lot of time. You've been yapping away there with the crew yes. for a while. But um, I'll be quick, mate, because um, I haven't got a lot of time myself. Race one at Randwick. I am worried about the wind at Randwick. It won't come up early, but it'll get stronger during the day with that Westley. And for those that don't know, Randwick, down the back, before the turn, you're running straight into it. So I'm going to go early on a horse that is going to lead, and I'm banking on the wind not being around at that stage. Race one, number three, Nicky Tricks, who can't trial any better. Um, has everything in its favour here. He's got Karen Mac- McAvoy riding it. Um, the one query I have got in the race is with number 10 private agent so we'll make that a save so we'll go $80 to win number 3 Nikki Tricks and private agent who will sit third on the fence here I would suggest as a saver around $20 and that's the play of the day for Red Valley Sports mate so race 1 number 3 race 1 number 10 and we just have to watch that win as Navesh Ramdani told us today and we had a chat to Tommy Berry as well so that will be interesting to see how it plays, um, Ed. But we can do all that by downloading the Red Belly app and also the website and watch you do your best work on the live page, I guess. Yeah, you can do that. And I'll just say to the listeners, like, if the wind is up, if they're saying it's very windy before the start, I'd, I'd pull a pin on that bet for sure. You're a good man, Ed. Enjoy your day and back plenty of winners. Cheers, Gareth. Bye, mate. Red Belly Sports is where the results speak for themselves. The Red Belly ratings and intelligent betting strategies get results like no other. Go to the website, download the ratings and the Red Belly app and have strategies de- delivered by push notification and bet exactly like a pro. Our ratings are for the experienced punter who demands supreme quality. Speed maps, current market prices and rated prices and all value runners are highlighted and results are posted immediately after the last. So why not join Red Belly Sports for a month and enjoy the ride? Head to redbellysports.com. To- Team up with the professionals. The perfect BLT. It starts with the Toki. The Toki pan-sized hickory smoked bacon. Award-winning bacon from 100% Australian pork. With that authentic smoky taste at your deli counter now. From the Toki, simply the best where a day at the races begins. RSN 927's Race Day Morning.
Time to preview the Gold Coast today. Cozzy, what's happening there with the track conditions and scratching? Good four there. Race one, take out one, Del Toro, two family star, five, the big goodbye, six, Tomonto, nine, Bay of Dragons, ten, Miss Barty, and 14, a girl like Alice. One, two, five, six, nine, ten, fourteen. Race two, scratch two, Honourable Spirit, number two. Third, Panatu, you'll be missed. Six, Mr. Larrabee. Nine, Merseyside. Two, six, and nine. Race four, take out five, Arches Paradox. Number five. The fifth, put out one, Foreign Territory. Two, Admin Boy, and nine, Fortified. One, two, and nine. Race six, scratch one and nine, Lancaster Bomber and Centrefire. One and nine. Race seven, take out seven, She Can Sing. Number seven, add race eight, put out six emergent, ten Archana, thirteen Siesta Key and fourteen Angel Share, six, ten, thirteen and fourteen. And race nine, put out six Vinco. Number six, no late scratchings. Always great to catch up to Bar- catch up with Bart Sinclair. Thanks to the Brisbane Racing Club. And we're heading to the Gold Coast this afternoon. Bart, good morning to you. Where do we start with your best bets and then a quality, please? Yeah, good morning, Gareth. I know you've got a lot to get through, so we'll skip through these. But race one, we're going to start early. Number 11, she can sing never on the track last time. Three wide outside the leader. Home track here, good draw. I think she'll win race one, number 11. Go to race five, uh, number 11, Ocean Treaty. Now, there's a riding change here. Bailey Nodoff can't make the weight. Steph Thornton, she won on it last time. No no problem with that riding change. Uh, third up here to 1,800 metres, I think's ideal. Did get a nice run through on the inside of Eagle Farm last time, but uh, now getting to more suitable distance. Race five, number 11. And race nine, uh, number two, Run for Glory, was beaten uh, a nose in an open race behind Ballistic Boy. He won since. Just looks perfectly placed here with the uh, claim for Leah Kilner at race nine, number two. The Quaddy, uh, short one to start with, race six. I think there's only two possibles here, two and three. You'll get it in those. We own a uh, smart one, dollar fifty, short enough. The other horse is going really well, so put the two in there, two and three. Go to race seven. It does look like Miami Fleiss again. She's odds on. I'm not too sure about who selected the quaddy today. The two really short ones, but I put a roughie in there. Number three, Archana, accepted for Randwick, accepted for race eight here. Scratch from those races and to take on the. Uh, the Pink Ribbon Cup, which is a little bit more money, but uh, that's probably swayed their thinking. But a roughie there, four and three. Go to race eight. I think you'll get it in two here. I've gone with nine first up, trialled brilliantly. Uh, five kilo weight advantage over number two, nine and two. And the last, I'm keen on run for glory, but I think you've got to put five and three in there. Full Nelson did a good job to win last week when wide, and uh, Tokariki Lad goes well on this track. Two, five and three. Good on you, Bart. Good luck, mate. Thanks for that. Thank- Thanks, Gareth. So Bart Sinclair, just recapping his best bets there on the Gold Coast today, race one, horse number 11, and that is She Can Sing, race five, horse number 11. He's also keen on that galloper, and that's Ocean Treaty, and in race nine, he likes the two there, and that's Run for Glory. Racing at Morfordville, the Wiley's the feature there, Cosy. Good four, rail true, and 17 out. Race one clear, race two take out three, enchantingly, number three. Third event put out three in De Magic, 14 in the darkness, and 16 Lysandra, three, 14, and 16. The fourth clear, the fifth scratch one extra mile. Number one, race six, take out 10, don't waver. Number 10, seventh put out one deal breaker, seven Monrage, and nine Persian Empire. One, seven, and nine. Race eight, scratch five, Sav's finale, eight, he's a bolter, nine, one more jack, and 10 Bell CL. Five, eight, nine, and 10. And then the ninth put out five Ready Sun, 11 Pale Ale, 12 Divine, and 13 Free Wilma, 5, 11, 12, and 13. Always great to catch up with Nadia Horn. Looking forward to this card today, Nadia. Where do we start with your specials? Hi, so Gareth. We can kick off in race three with number 12, Darling Nora. There's been really good support for this horse since uh, markets first went up this morning, and uh, of course, the bigger players can, can have a go. It's now into an odds on favourite after beating 220 yesterday. Uh, she's. Coming back from a, a really good preparation last time in, where we saw her competitive at stakes grade, and she does get to a position probably off course from um, that, uh, off pace from that good draw. So I'm pretty keen on her race three, number 12. I didn't think in race four, but number six, Larkin, is the one to beat here. Um, he's the one run back this preparation. He'll take good benefit out of that, and he's got the potential to settle up on speed. Look, his best form. Um, would have him, you know, clear favourite here, and that's the way that the market's trended this morning. Race four, number six, Larkin. And the other horse I like comes up in the Wiley, the feature race, and I'm pretty keen on number seven, Serbian, who hit an enormous figure first up last preparation. I like the fact he's drawn out where he has, because he likes a bit of room in his races, and the fact that they've elected to resume him here 
Passed up from a break, I'm expecting a bold showing. So the three horses are race three, the 12, race four, the six, and race eight, number seven. And our quaddie today will go two, six, seven, the first leg, field in the second leg, one out the seven in the third leg, and come home with runners one, four, six. You're a star, Nadi. Good luck. So race three, number 12, race four, number six, and Turby and her tip in the feature there, race eight, number seven. Tatura is the second meeting here in Victoria today, Cozzy. Right, now here we have uh, quite a few scratchings, a lot of emergency, soft five, and uh, the rail is true. Race one, put out four, Orem, and emergencies 14 and 15, four and 14 and 15. Race two, take out four, Apsara, nine, Aspen Snowmass, 11, Limey, and 16, Kumana. 4, 9, 11, 16. Third event, 1 Crisis Time, 10 Ultra Instinct, and then 12, 15, 16, and 17, the emergencies. 1, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17. Fourth, Emergency 13, not running, number 13. Race 5, Emergencies 13, 14, don't run, 13, 14. Race 6, Scratch 9, Solar Flash, and then 13, 14, 15, the emergencies, 9, 13, 14, 15. Race 7, Emergencies 13, 14, 15, don't run. 13, 14, 15. Same for race 8. 13, 14, 15. Emergencies not running. And race 9, take out 5. Valor Elite. And then 14, 15, 16. Emergencies. 5 and 14, 15, 16. Harry White, good morning to you. Good morning, Gareth. Suburbia, 320 in the first leg of the quaddy. Honeywine, 460. St. Joey's at 460. And then we go to Dreammaker at 750 and Rideo at $7.50. What are you doing here, Harry, to kick off the quaddy? Making Suburbia my best of the day, Gareth. Did enough first up, always improved second up and will appreciate being back on firmer footing after going around on a heavy eight deck first up. I thought Royal Monsoon at a price should go into the court. He could run a race even though it will be better over further. St. Joey's gets back and runs on. That racing pattern is usually detrimental but in the mix as is Rideo. 1258. 1600 metres race 7 restricted 58. Heimberg at 310. Orong Road at 5. Hot Seat at 7. Ocotox at $7.00. Oh, Matteo Ultima, I should say, at $10, and then she won't leave at seven fifty. Another competitive race. Yeah, with Orang Road, been very good in two runs since finally breaking maiden status. It looks like the right form, just as long as he doesn't get a mile back in the run. I thought Heimberg was the main danger, and she won't leave, always improves second up. Okotok's next best, 3295. Chairman's Choice looks tough to beat, $3.10 in race eight. We've got Mountain Abyss. At three ninety, Captain Ryder at four forty, and those are the horses under double figures here, Harry. I'm with uh, Mountain Ibis. Wish I'd have, the horse had have drawn a gate, but uh, first up run was good. Best prior form would see him go close. Chairman's choice gives weight to them. Always gives away a hefty head start. That's the knock. Captain Ryder and very Seamus are the other ones in the quaddy. Two one four nine. Mister Grumpy in the last is the four dollar twenty favourite. Are you listening at five dollars? And then Young Harry Cool at six fifty. Magnus Agogo at five dollars. And then that's basically it. Mally Hammer given a chance at six fifty here, Harry. Yeah, we'll go with the toppy. Are you listening? Third up and ready to fire. Concede this trip sees him out, but he might just be able to hold on. Mr. Grumpy, back in grade, blinkers on, nicely weighted, looks deservedly in the market. Magnus Agogo and Mandagorian go into the quaddie as well. 1379. Your best, mate? Best, race six, number one, Suburbia. Value, race five, number six, Miss Juvenile. Quaddie, first leg, 1258. Second leg, 239. Third leg, 1249. Last leg, one, three, seven, and nine. Do you have a best at Caulfield? I'm really keen on non-conformist in race seven, Gareth. Go and get them, Harry. Thanks, Gareth. Peter Anthony is at Belmont. He's keen on image keeper. Race six, horse number two, image keeper. And in race seven there, he's also keen on one. And that's son of God. Race seven, number five, son of, a son of God. And he also said to have a saver on the nine, Crystal Spirit. Ballarat tonight in the Trot's terrific meeting. Ladies and Reds should win the three-year-old Phillies contest, but she's no prize. But watch that race because she takes on Tough Tilly and they're two superstars. And I'm keen on Mac Dan into $2 now. Backing for the Victoria Cup. He'll win tonight and he'll shorten up for the Victoria Cup. I think he's a big chance. And maybe one at a price. It's not much of a price now, but Struve, um, he's at 330. He's been well supported. He can be a little hit or miss, but I think that you can play him with a little bit of confidence today. And in the last race, I agree with Dan Malecki. So what? That's race 10, number nine. 
Georgie Frew just done the form for us there at the Meadows for that twilight meeting. Really good program here, Georgie. Where do we start with your specials? Yeah, mate, there's three that we're keen on. Good morning to you. Uh, race one, number one, Sunstruck. As we said yesterday, Gareth, we uh, we tipped it on radio when it ran second uh, to qualify for this final. It's drawn box one again. Surely it can't begin as bad as it did last time out. And um, at around the $7 mark, happy to take a play. The short is Jack's Bale, race four, number two, Gareth. But he should just be winning this race. He's a, a, in terrific form, this Greyhound, and he's a class above... I'm also keen to have a play on race 10, number 7, Thunder Tears. I think he's been knocking down the door and he's ready to uh, knock it right over here in this race. If he just gets some clear running early, he'll be hard to beat. So race 1, number 1, race 4, number 2, race 10, number 7. Quality numbers, uh, Gareth, 1, 3, 6 and 8 into 1, 3 and 4 into 1, 2 and 3 into 2, 3, 5 and 6. Also keen on 1 at Geelong, Gareth. Uh, race 10, number one, Code Cracker, looking to make it a hat-trick of wind to start its career. So uh, just a little bonus one there. Hopefully it can get the job done. We love a bonus one, Georgie. Race <laughs> 10, number one. So race one, number one. Race four, number two. Race 10, number seven there at the Meadows. And then race 10, number one at Geelong, mate. Perfect, mate. Have a good weekend. You're a star. There's Georgie Frugia with his tips there at the, the Meadows. That wraps up my duties on RSN Saturday race day. Johnny Bowden's ready to go with the news. And then it's a big race day morning with um, Michael Felgate, Dan Malecki, Matty Stewart. The special guests there today, Fred Kersley, Sam Lyons and James Winks, plus so much more. Robbie Heathcote, Ronnie Duffercy as well. So looking forward to that. Here's Johnny Bowden with the news.